Hello everyone. If you've been following along on my last few videos, then you know I've gone on a few trips recently and I just got back yesterday from visiting my boyfriend Brandon on his tour. He's drumming for Marilyn Manson and I was able to visit him on a few of those tour dates. I will link my video to that vlog down below as well as my Des Moines shopping trip which I did on the first day of my trip. So I had the whole day free in Des Moines. So I met up with my friend Lindsay, also known as Mad Girls Vintage here on YouTube. And we went to a few shops, primarily Funky Finds and the Brass Armadillo, and we got some amazing stuff. I'm sure she's gonna end up sharing a haul on her channel at some point, but right now I'm going to be sharing everything I got on this trip and also my trip to Las Vegas, which was a few weeks back, and also a few things in between that I've picked up along the way. First, I'm going to start by sharing everything I got at Funky Finds. The first item is actually the top I'm wearing. It is this psychedelic print loose blouse. It's kind of Asian inspired with these things and I love tops like this that are really loose and comfortable and I think I'm going to be wearing this all the time. It's definitely my new favorite shirt. And the next item I actually showed myself wearing in my last video. It is this 1950s or 60s really casual striped dress. I really love the pockets and also this bow waist detail. I love dresses like this because you can wear it to literally anywhere and it doesn't look overdressed or anything and vintage pieces like this are really great to have. That dress was a little bit see-through and I didn't bring any slips or anything with me on my trip so I picked up one of these skirt slips at Funky Finds Vintage. It just was perfect, got the job done and I actually really love it, the lace detail is so pretty on the end, so if it does peek through your dress, it looks really cute. And this was only $4, so that was definitely a steal. A few of you have commented on how much you love my cat eyes that I wear in a lot of my videos. Well, those ones were purchased from Funky Finds last December, and I always break my glasses, so anytime I can get a new pair, I pick up a few because I just know they're not gonna last too long. Luckily, that tortoise shell pair has lasted for over six months, so that's great. These are pretty good quality, but I decided to pick up two more pairs. I got this pair, which is exactly the same as the ones that I wear in a lot of my videos, except they're black, and I just love the way their cat eyes fit on my face. These are new, they're not vintage, but they have a really great selection of new sunglasses. And I also showed you guys in my last video that I picked up this pair. I'm obsessed with these glasses. They are my favorite thing on earth. I kind of wish I bought two of them because I feel like these kind are more rare to find and I want these forever. So next time I go to Des Moines, I'm gonna be picking up a few more of these if they still have them. Okay, now for the home decor and kitschy goodness. I got this ponytail brand locker vanity. The graphic on this is my favorite thing on earth and it's so cute because obviously it was intended to be in a school locker and it hangs like this except the funny thing about it is if it was hanging you wouldn't even see that graphic but um anyways it opens up and it has all these different compartments a little thing for tissues and a private property section i am obsessed with this i'm thinking i might put it in my purse or my backpack when i'm traveling but other than that i'm gonna try to find somewhere to display it in my home and the last item i purchased from funky finds is this chalkware fish it is pink and purple and teal and I've never seen a chalkware fish in these colors and he's also holding a trident and has a crown. I just think this piece is so unique and I've never seen anything like it. The only issue is that the hook for it is broken and Lindsay kind of convinced me into buying it even though it was damaged. So if any of you know a way to fix this where it's completely secure, please let me know. It would be a shame if I tried to fix it and then it fell and broke and I really don't want that to happen, but I know there has to be a way to fix it. So please comment down below if you've ever done that on your chalkware. And now for the items that I purchased at Brass Armadillo. The first item is this souvenir box. It says strictly private souvenirs and it has two girls on it. The graphic on this box is really similar to the ponytail locker vanity and I just always have loved art like this. It's so 
cute and it has this little dog with these flowers and that's actually one of my favorite parts of the whole thing. But yeah, I'm gonna be using this to store some of my treasures and memories and I just always love having souvenir boxes but some of the ones I have aren't super cute. I usually just buy ones from Ikea but this one is cute enough that it needs to be displayed. And the next item from Brass Armadillo is this really cute Siamese cat figurine. It's actually made of plastic, not glass, so it's perfect for traveling with in my bag and it will look perfect on my hutch with all of my other Siamese figurines. Last summer when I was in Des Moines, I also did a vintage haul for that trip and if you guys watch that video, you'll see that there's kind of a parallel theme from last year's trip and this year's. There's a few very similar things I purchased and this is one of them. If you guys recall, I purchased some poodle bookends that look almost identical to this. And now I have this really cute letter holder that matches it and I'm gonna put this on Brandon's desk. Next, I got this really amazing vinyl. It is actually a comedy vinyl from 1958 and it says it's an assortment of party naughties. So it is filled with naughty jokes. I listened to it last night and it was pretty funny and it really reminds me of The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, some of the comedy vinyls that she listens to and the cover is just so amazing so I could not pass this up. In that same booth, I also purchased this July 1965 Playboy. If you guys didn't already know, I have a small collection of Playboy magazine from the 60s and the 70s. I really love the photography and the art in these old Playboys and they are a constant source of inspiration for fashion and for photography for me. And the next two items are vintage Disney vinyls. I of course had to get this Walt Disney lullabies because it has Bambi and his mom on it. And as you guys know, I am obsessed with Bambi and literally cannot pass something like this up, so had to get that. And the next item I am slightly disappointed by because this is what I saw as the cover. So I thought it was a Disneyland record, as in there was songs that play in Disneyland, like on the rides and stuff. So that's what I thought I was purchasing, but I was actually purchasing Donald Duck and the Mouse Factory, and I have a feeling that that's gonna be a really annoying record to listen to, but I'll give it a chance. I really like this side more, so I might have it displayed on a shelf or something showing this side of the vinyl. A few videos back in my vintage Q&A, someone asked what my vintage unicorn is, meaning something that if I found, I would get like crazy excited and something I'm on the hunt for and I said a poodle trash can, which definitely is on my list, but I totally forgot about something else I've been looking for for ages. I've been looking for either an Archie slash Betty and Veronica or a Sabrina the Teenage Witch vintage lunchbox, and I have found some on Etsy, but they are very pricey, and I just cannot come to grips with spending over $100 on a lunchbox that's just for show. But on my trip, I found something very close to the lunchbox, not quite as exciting as that would be, but I definitely screamed almost. <laughs> you can ask Lindsay, I was so excited. I found this Archie's Thermos. It definitely went with the lunchbox, I am assuming, but it is so cute and it's from the year 1969. This is gonna be going in my kitchen and this is one of my favorite vintage finds that I found probably in the last year. I am just so excited. And the last item that I purchased from Brass Armadillo is actually a gift for my neighbor Tia. It is this Black Panther. Her and her husband Johnny collect these, but I don't know if they have any of these miniature ones. If they do, they'll have another one because they definitely have a big collection. But I thought it was so cute and I could not pass this up. I had to get it for her. And speaking of my neighbor Tia, she actually surprised me when I came home with a few little gifts in my kitchen. I love her so much. She always surprises me and buys me things and she's like, kind of an older sister or something that I never had. I love her so much. But anyways, she got me these miniature Siamese cat salt and pepper shakers. These will also be going in my hutch with all my other Siamese things. And she also got me all of these little miniature deer figurines. They are the sweetest, most precious thing I've ever seen in my life. And they're going in my kitchen corner cabinets with all of my other deer figurines. While I was in Des Moines, I also went to Fong's Pizza, which is 
a Chinese mid-century tiki bar as well as a pizza restaurant and of course I had to get a tiki mug so I picked out this mermaid lava lamp one I also got a green one for my mom because she loves tiki mugs as well and we have both started to collect them a lot recently and now moving on to what I purchased in Vegas there's only a couple things but I also picked up some tiki mugs there the first one is this one from the golden tiki and my mom bought me this slot machine tiki mug from Frankie's Tiki Room. I'm so excited to be adding on to my collection of tiki mugs. They make me so happy and I love looking at them in my hutch. I mentioned before that I was considering doing a hutch tour video, so if you guys are interested in that, please let me know. I know a few of you are and I wanna film a high quality, good video for that. So just let me know if you guys are interested in seeing that. And the other thing I purchased in Las Vegas is this Las Vegas souvenir plate. I don't have a Las Vegas one, but I have a bunch of others in my kitchen, so I wanted to add this onto my collection. It's from 1995, but it has all of the old hotels that have been there for a really long time. Some of them actually aren't there anymore but I think it looks so cute with all the rest in my kitchen. Something I forgot to share from my most recent trip is these souvenir magnets. So I didn't know they made new ones of these. I thought there was only vintage ones. So I first found this Iowa one when I was in Iowa and I got so excited and had to purchase it, of course. But then I found all of these other ones. They had pretty much every state in this other truck stop. So I got two of the places that we went on our trip North Dakota and South Dakota. And then also I had to get this New Jersey one because my dad and a lot of my family members are from New Jersey. And also a California one because I didn't have a California one. The next item is a gift from my friend Emily who owns the shop I have my booth at, Magnolia and Willow. She got this Boy Scouts pennant for me at an estate sale. It's actually the estate sale that I purchased that Morse code vinyl a few videos back. And she went really early to that sale and she knows I love Boy Scout stuff so she picked this up for me as a gift. And the last item I'm going to be sharing with you guys is this Waving Cat piggy bank that I purchased from Magnolia and Willow. It says, feed me, and it looks so cute with all the other Waving Cats that I have above my fridge. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all of the finds that I have accumulated over the last month. I have really been purchasing some great stuff that I am super happy about and I had so much fun on all of my trips. I will link all of my trip vlogs down below so you can see what I ate and where I went. Also next week, I am going to Portland and Seattle to visit Brandon on his tour and I will be doing a lot of shopping and eating and tiki barring when I am there. So I will be posting some vlogs of that and if I purchase enough stuff, I'll probably do a haul from that trip as well. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video.